Each year in this country, nearly 16,000 children are diagnosed with cancer, and it remains the leading cause of death by disease for children in this country. September is Pediatric Cancer Awareness Month, and it's so important to educate people about this disease and how it impacts so many families. So joining us now is Pammy Kramer, the co-founder of Dancing While Cancering, an organization dedicated to helping families touched by cancer. And your story is incredible as well, Pammy. Thank you for being with us today. Tell us about it. Thank you so much for having me on this morning, Lucy. Um, Dancing While Cancering has one sole mission, and that is to bring joy to the inpatient hospital experience for kids with cancer. My husband, Scott, and I founded this nonprofit in memory of our daughter, Maddie, who battled cancer when she was only two and a half years old. And uh, while we were really concerned about how she would go through the experience of having cancer, being such a little kid, uh, she shocked us all, our family, our friends, our whole community, and she literally danced her way through her battle. And so in honor of her, in memory of her, and to bring uh, the joy that she brought to us, to families and kids going through this experience, that's how we came to found uh, dancing while cancering. Amazing. Pammy, what kind of cancer did she have? She had a cancer called ATRT. It yeah. affects 30 to 50 kids in the country every year. It is in the brain tumor family. Her tumor actually appeared in her spinal cord, her little oh. spinal cord, uh, which out of all of those kids, only one to two per year have it in their spinal cord, most have it in their brain. Amazing. I mean, it's just the shock of finding that out. And then when you're forming this organization, tell me, what did you need? What did you need at the time that made you say, this is what we're going to put into our organization in name of Maddie? Yeah, well, after she passed, we were trying to think of ways to honor her. And we just pulled from our personal experience. And so uh, we just drew from what we had learned, which is while you're in the hospital, those days and weeks and months for many families, including us, can be draining and long. And how can we make that hospital room feel like our own and like Maddie's? And that's how we came up with our the main way that we bring joy to the kids, which is our smile pack. It is this neon green backpack filled with items to make the hospital room feel like their own. There's musical instruments that are age appropriate. There are streamers, decorations, a water bottle, a, co a cozy blanket. So uh, we just pulled from personal experience. How have you guys evolved? I know you're, you do the backpack and then you do other things as well. What's the foundation doing as well? Yeah, in addition to the smile packs, which we bring to 20 partner hospitals across the country, including Children's Hospital of Philadelphia, which is near and dear to my heart. Um, CHOP is only 15 minutes away from where I grew up in Southern New Jersey, right outside of Philly. We also bring 10 Maddie's character closets uh, across the country. CHOP is one of those 10 hospitals that takes them. And this is an example of what we send to the hospitals. This bin has Toy Story characters, but we've got about 40 other types of characters that we send out, and it's to be housed in the oncology floor playroom of each of our hospitals. And so it's a way for kids to have an outlet of imaginative play during those, those stays in the hospital. You talk about Maddie's spirit and energy and how she surprised you guys with just staying happy. I and mean, you can see it in the video that you sent us. What do you think she would be saying about everything that you're accomplishing right now? Well, whenever we were sitting around, she would always say, come on, dance, get up and dance, dance with me. And so um, I think she would be very proud um, and really happy that we're bringing her joy to other kids battling out there um, and bringing that dancing spirit to them in those really tough moments, especially right after being diagnosed. Pammy, it's a beautiful thing what you've done with your pain. Thank you for being with us today. Thank you so much. And if anyone wants to learn more about what we're doing or to donate to a very meaningful cause, especially during Childhood Cancer Awareness Month, please visit our website, dancingwhilecancering.org. Especially during Pediatric Cancer Awareness Month. It's on NBC10.com slash findit on 10.